Hey everyone! In this video, I will show you how to install FL Studio 2025 on your Mac. Let's get started. First, open your preferred browser, Safari, Chrome, whatever you use, and in the search bar, type Download FL Studio 2025. Hit enter and click on the official FL Studio website from the search results. I've also included the direct link in the video description for convenience. Once you're on the site, scroll down to the macOS section and click download. When the prompt appears, choose where you want to save the installer, most people go with the downloads folder, and click save. The file size is pretty large, so give it a few minutes to download depending on your internet speed. While that's happening, here are a few things to look forward to in FL Studio 2025. Better overall performance, a refreshed user interface, and powerful new tools for professional music production. Once the download is done, open your downloads folder and locate the file named flstudio-mac.dmg. Double-click it to mount the installer. A new window will pop up showing the installer package. Double-click on flstudioinstaller.pkg to launch the setup wizard. Follow the prompts, click continue, then continue again to proceed. Review the license agreement, and if you agree, click Agree. Choose the Install location. Default works just fine. Then hit Install. You'll likely be asked to enter your Mac's admin password. Enter it, then click Install Software to begin. Wait a few minutes while FL Studio installs. Once it's done, click Close to finish. Now go to your Applications folder and double-click FL Studio to open it. If macOS shows a warning that the app was downloaded from the internet, just click Open. FL Studio may also request access to your microphone or folders. Be sure to grant those permissions so everything runs properly. And that's it! FL Studio 2025 is now installed and ready to go. Time to start making music like a pro. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more easy tech tutorials. Got any questions? Drop them in the comments and I'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.